Station of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And I forgot to get the freaking ticker right again. Uh, we'll get it right sometime along the way. It's not. Why was that there? Anyway, I'm Ron Junkett. Welcome to the program and welcome to Montreal Canadiens Hockey 8089. This is our regular slot for this. It'll be every Sunday and sometimes or Tuesday or a Thursday or maybe all three. You never know depending on what the schedule is. But today it's the home opener for Montreal from October 8th, 1988. The visitors for tonight's game in Montreal is the Minnesota or are the Minnesota North Stars. I don't know why I didn't get the opening lineups there. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't quite work out that way. If you weren't with us on Thursday or watched on YouTube, Montreal lost their home opener to, or lost their opener to Buffalo four to three late on a goal by Phil Housley. So the Canadians are two points out of first place. This is their second game of the year. The North Stars are 0-1 on the year. And so both teams are looking for their first win. And if you lived in Montreal, this was your first chance to watch the Canadians on television. Because in this day and age where everything is televised, the home opener, the opener in 88 was not in Buffalo. It was not on television anywhere in the province. So this would be Hockey Night in Canada. I, uh, I screwed up the ticker again, and so we'll get that fixed for the next time through. Mm -hmm. I thought I had it fixed. Apparently, I didn't. So no scores in the game. But beyond that, it'll be the Habs and the North Stars next, right here on Retro Sports Network. As HockeyTournaments.com presents... Montreal Canadiens Hockey, two words that David Gardner never thought he would hear he'd be the sponsor of. HockeyTournaments.com is where you should list your tournament in North America. If you are hosting a tournament, the best teams come to yours, and the best teams are looking for tournaments at HockeyTournaments.com. How you doing, Henry Ford? Three one three. Glad to have you along on this after uh, Sunday afternoon. Let's meet the North Star starters. Bob Brook will take the opening face off. He's got Stewie Gavin in his eight thousand penalty minutes on the right, and Don Barber on the left. Kurt Giles is your left defenseman. He's a good one. And Sean Chambers. I'm doing wonderful things. Sean Chambers is your right D. For the Canadians, Bobby Smith, the center. Matt Naslund, who started the real season injured, is on the left wing. And Mike Keane is the right wing. Chris Chelios, the left defense. And the ageless Larry Robinson on the right defense. And so we are ready. Hope you are too. We drop the puck. And it is won by Minnesota. Barber clears it back to get to center. Naslin will steal it. Montreal will skate it in. Opening seconds. Naslin into the North Star zone. Smith hit by Barber. Minnesota has it. Chambers to Brook across the line. Brook. Opening shot of the game, Wass sees that all the way. The rebound is controlled by Larry Robinson, and we'll skate it out. So line changes. Scrudlin out there with McPhee and Claude Lemieux on the offense. Rick Green and Svoboda are the defensive pair. Both teams change up. McPhee clears it all the way down, and that's an icing call. And we'll get a face-off. Rusty Money, hockey afternoon in Canada. Yep. Absolutely. So Pasek and Brian Scrudlin, let's meet the second line here. Dusan Pasek will take this face off. Brian McClellan and Wally Schreiber are the wings. 
Rob Zettler. Look at that offensive rating, 0.4 out of 10. And Link, boy, doesn't he look like Brian Bosworth? That looks like something out of 80 central casting with that haircut, right? He's a left defense. Link gets. Brian Scrudeland will take the face off for Montreal. Mike McPhee. And Claude Lebeau, big article in the Montreal Gazette on Thursday, opening day, that Claude Lebeau is looking for more respect. And how would he do that? Get into more fights. Rick Green, good defender. And Peter Svoboda. Rusty, always look forward to watching the Nordiques games on the Sunday afternoons back in the 80s. Well, next Sunday at noon Eastern, it's the Habs and the Nordiques right here on Retro Sports Network. And in the net... Patrick Wah. So face off coming. Minute and a half in the ball game. Scrudland draws it back. Svoboda skates it out to Scrudland over the line. Claude Lemieux behind the net. No one really opened. They'll set it back up again. Scrudland to Green over to Lemieux. Lemieux is going to penetrate on Zettler. He was a 29 goal scorer on the real year. Tries to get around. He does. Shot coming, Scrudland in front, Casey sees that all the way, kick save in the butte, Settler has it, they play it to center, McPhee will have it, and Montreal will try again, they get it in the zone to Scrudland, penalty coming up on Minnesota Getz. Minnesota penalty to Link Gates, two minutes for cross-checking, time of the penalty, two minutes, 18 seconds. Yeah, Claude is not related to Mario, his brother Jocelyn's with Montreal though. John Casey, with those pearly white teeth, looks like a milk mustache, is in net for Minnesota. Barber, Giles, the defenseman, Gavin, and Chambers. You haven't met Stefan Richet, he's on the power play. And Eric Desjardins. We'll be out there with Larry Robinson. So the face-off to the right of Casey. First power play of the game. Montreal. Barber wins the face-off, and Minnesota clears it all the way down. Montreal, eighth in the National Hockey League with a 25% power play. Minnesota didn't do too well the other night. Riche skates it up. Nasland to Riche behind the net. No one really open. They'll play some tic-tac-toe. Desjardins, 127 to go in the power play. He's going to pass it around. Not a good shot opportunity there. Naslin, it's got Desjardins open outside. They're going to try to find that. Desjardins chips it towards Casey. Tipped by Richet in the glove of Casey. And Richet has it now behind the net. No one really open. Minute 15 to go in the power play. No score first period. Again, nothing really cooking for Montreal. They'll dump and chase it again. A minute 9 to go. Now Nasland. Goodness gracious. Minnesota's defense is playing tight. No alleys open at all. Riche. Now, he's going to have a 25-goal season. Going to fire it. Winds and fires. Casey gives up the rebound and out of play. So 46 seconds to go in the min in the minor. How do I tell if a player is open or not? The number of stars. But let's get some fresh legs on the ice. Carbono out there with Corson and Lemieux. Chelios and Svoboda, the defenders. When you see that box on the right where it says power play... You either have no stars, one star, two stars, or three stars. Three stars means the player is open. You got the best chance of getting the pass in there for a quality shot. Doesn't mean you're going to score. If you only see the one star, that means there's a good chance that the defense is going to steal it. And on the power play, you have time to set up what you want. Schreiber, McRae, the forwards, Hardy, and Frantisic Musel, I the defenseman. And Fransek looks about 15 there. And Mark Hardy looks like an old vet. Uh, Mario Lemieux's brother's name is Elaine. Okay. So Carbonell and Schreiber, 46 seconds left on the power play. Schreiber won the face off. Musley will 
Dump it down, and it's dump and chase time for Montreal. 37 seconds left. Chelios brings it up the ice over to course, and they dump it, and they can't do anything with it. So Minnesota is going to kill this off, I would think. Yep, the power play is over. Montreal got two shots, nothing really good. Ryan Walter joins Ganey and Brent Gilchrist in the fourth line. Ludwig and Desjardins. The defenders, not a good power play for Montreal. Ludwig to Ganey into the Minnesota zone to Gilchrist, and Frazier and Walter get roughed up. Really. Minnesota penalty to Kurt Fraser. Two minutes for roughing Montreal penalty to Ryan Walter. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalties. Four minutes, 35 seconds. Well, it's really not what either team wanted, especially with Montreal trying to streak up the ice kind of early for the rough stuff. But there you have it. Shots 3-1 in favor of Montreal. Frazier and Walter in the box for the next two minutes. Screwed Lynn McPhee and Lemieux for Montreal. Ruskowski, McCray, and Denny Marouk. So you Terry Ruskowski. And Denny Marouk, who used to be able to score a ton. All right, Scrudland will try to draw this back. Face off is won by Montreal. McPhee to Chelios over to Lemieux. Now, here you go. So, in the offensive zone, no stars means that the pass is going to be stolen. Two stars by Robinson means that there's a good chance that Lemieux can get Robinson on open for a shot. So, we'll try it. Lemieux's pass to Robinson. Robinson. One timer. Casey sees that all the way. And the face off coming. No changes for Montreal. Pasek, McClellan, and Schreiber out for the North Stars. Giles and Chambers, the defenders. Scridland will draw this back. Pasek wins the face off. Chambers breaks it out. Dumps it down, but no icing. Larry Robinson will touch up. Green and Svoboda will come on. Porcin, Carboneau, and Riche, the forwards. And an asterisk by the name means that they're coming on as soon as Montreal can get it out. Montreal changes on the fly. Another power play coming for Montreal. Riche, delayed shot here. He fires wide, and as soon as that's touched, we'll get a power play. Minnesota penalty to Brian McClellan. Two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalty, 5 minutes 25 seconds. So a second power play coming up for Montreal. Reaching out there with Smith and Naslund. Barber will take the face off. He's out there with Stu Gavin, Hardy, and Musial. The defenders, Chelios and Svoboda on the power play will man the blue lines for Montreal. Montreal 0 for 1 tonight. Linesman drops the puck. Smith will win it. Chelios has it. Nobody open. Chelios will shoot. Trying to put it on the net. From the middle block by Hardy. And it is taken by Naslin. He'll set it up. Going to try a wraparound from behind the net. Naslin on Casey. Scoring chance. Fires. Casey stood tall in the saddle. Riche gets the rebound. He's going to try a wrap around from behind the net. He walks it around. Gets the shot on to Casey. That's a kick save in the butte. Rebound is controlled by Chelios. Chelios, he can pass it to Svoboda. The three stars means he's open. He can shoot it. He can give it to Naslin. Going to try for Matt's Naslin. The pass, Naslin does have it. Hardy and Riche in front of the net. Naslin tries blocked by Hardy. Usually will get it. Minnesota clears. Chelios has the puck. A minute 27 to go in the power play. Montreal changes up on defense. Robinson and Desjardins. Forwards remain the same. Desjardins to Naslin. Over the line to Riche. Hardy with a check. And the board's two on one the other way. Short-handed. Robinson tries to poke it. And Bobby Smith does poke it free. Ho, ho, ho. 58 seconds to go. So the short-handed bid, no sir. Second line coming in from Montreal. Corson, Carboneau, and Lemieux. Carboneau. They set it up. Carboneau over center. Over to Corson. Hit by McCray. Minnesota will try and clear. Gillies, he does. Schreiber clears it. 
the matching miners are done. 40 seconds on the power play. Ludwig and Green come into play defense. Lemieux through center. Over to Green. Long shot. Matt miss wide right. Corson behind the net. Doesn't like what he sees. Passes it around. 20 seconds on the power play. Corson. This time he's going to try for Carboneau who is open. Maybe. Lemieux is screened. Can't get the pass to him. Corson to Carboneau. Carboneau long shot right side. Fires. Scores! Guy Carboneau! Montreal power play goal by Guy Carboneau. His first of the season. Assisted by Shane Corson. And by Rick Green. Time of the goal, 7 minutes 25 seconds. Well, Corson was looking. Carboneau wasn't all that open. But a good tape-to-tape -tape pass. And Carboneau one-timed it past. I don't think... The North Stars goalie was looking for that shot. So that's a power play goal. Shot 7-1 in favor of Montreal. And as you heard, Cortana say assist to Corson and Green, their first of the year. And surprisingly enough, almost 10 minutes in the first period, this is the first Montreal lead of the year. Frazier and Ganey out for the faceoff. One by Fraser Hardy. Hit by Gilchrist. Montreal has it at center. Montreal trying to skate it in. Gaining over the line to Gilchrist. Winds and fires. That misses everything wide. Fraser the other way to Musley. Fraser up to Archibald in the Montreal zone. Penalty coming up on Montreal. Gilchrist got caught with a hook. Montreal penalty to Brent Gilchrist. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty. Eight minutes, 22 seconds. Well, not what Montreal wanted to do right after they scored on the power play. Archibald got it across, and Gilchrist, who didn't make the team in real life out of training camp, well, that shows you why he probably should be in the AHL. So Posick and Carboneau for the faceoff. Archibald and McCray, the wingers. Zettler and Getz, the defensemen. Robinson and Chelios will tr start with the kill, and Carboneau and Corson are the defenders so hope you're enjoying this on a sunday afternoon face off is won by posick over to mccray posick tries to get the power play shot on he will chelios trying to block it nope that goes right to wah and patrick makes the save leaves it behind for chelios and the Habs will try and clear there they chelios clears all the way down here comes mccray Minnesota trying to get another rush on. Minute 24 in the power play. Posick over center to McCray. One-timer. McCray, that misses wide off the boards. Posick to McCray to Archibald. Archibald tries to find the pass. He's got Posick open in the slot. He shoots. Wassies that one all the way. Over to Chelios, and they will try and clear. Minnesota did not score on the power play in their opener. Montreal killed off four of five. Chelios tries to kill it. Over to Carbono and Carbono slides it down. 41 seconds left. And both teams will change. Walter and Ganey, the forwards. Ludwig and Green, the defenders. Dump and chase. Posick to McRae. Archibald now behind the net. He tries Posick by the left dot. And Wah saw that one, got a glove on it. And 13 seconds to go in the minor to Gilchrist. 9.51 first period, 1-0 Montreal. North Stars now have four shots. Walter and McClellan with a face-off. McClellan will win it for Minnesota. Barber, to get, they try to find a shot. Barber had eight goals on the real year. Going low, and Ludwig will block that. Power play is over. Montreal will change. First line in. Green and Svoboda, the defenders. Montreal. Keen in the zone. They'll dump and chase. Nasler, another penalty coming up. McClellan and Keen this time. Minnesota penalty to Brian McClellan. Two minutes for roughing Montreal penalty to Mike Keen. Two minutes for roughing. 
Time of the penalties, 10 minutes 48 seconds. Well, that was kind of unnecessary, especially when you had it in the zone. McClellan and Keene didn't drop the gloves, but they rubbed the gloves in each other's face and went, hmm, does this taste like brine to you? And Keene said, no, it tastes like ice. And that was it. So Scrudlin and Frazier out for the face-off. Telios and Robinson on the defense. McPhee and Richet this time around. Face-off won by Frazier. Musley tries to skate it out. Barber over the ice to Babe. That is his name. Frazier behind the net. Can he find anybody? Musley all through all sorts of traffic. Wines and he got that one on net. Waugh found the stick. And we got a timeout on the ice. 8.42 first period. one nothing Montreal. So Lemieux will fill in for Keane on this shift with Naslin and Bobby Smith. Green and Svoboda, second line defense there. Brooke and Smith on the faceoff deep in the Montreal zone. Brooke will win it over to Giles. They pass it around. Brooke, low shot, blocked by Svoboda. Naslin. And the Hams will try and skate it out. A minute 12 left in the matching minors. Naslin will clear it, but not deep enough for an icing. Brooke, the other way, and now Montreal. Penalty to Sean Chambers. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 12 minutes, 10 seconds. Well, that's just a stupid penalty because that was in your own zone. So now the faceoff will come in the Minnesota zone. And Montreal already has a power play goal. They're one for two. So Chambers gets called for the bad hook. Carbonell and Schreiber on the faceoff. Corson and Lemieux with Carbonell. Robinson and Desjardins on defense. Carbonell wins the faceoff. Corson. Slap her right off it. Casey gets a pad on it. There's a rebound. Lemieux behind the net. He's got Carboneau open in the middle. Can he get the pass there? Yes, he can. Low angle shot blocked by McRae. Corson. They pass it around. Goes for a blue line special to Larry Robinson. One timer. Casey got a piece of it. Rolls around. Schreiber will have it over to Muesli. 13 seconds in the matching minors. Schreiber will clear. So the matching minors are done. And a minute 22 on the power play from Chambers. Montreal will put Richet, Smith, and Naslin on. First line for Montreal. Naslin to Robinson. Smith gains the zone. Desjardins. Smith in front. That misses everything off the dasher. Pushes back to center. Naslin, and in fact, they skated all the way down to Desjardins. And Montreal will reset. 102 in the power play. 652 in the period. Naslin over the line. Hit by Barber as Desjardins. Hardy will try and kill it. They get it to Gavin, and now Montreal will reset. McPhee, Gilchrist, and Ganey join Chelios and Svoboda. 30 seconds left in the power play. Gaining over the line to Gilchrist. And Gilchrist loses it. And the two shots will be all for none. Now Barber the other way. This is a shorthanded bid for Minnesota. Dean Barber. Wah got a piece of that. Sweeps it for Chilio. So that will kill the penalty. So Walter Carbono and Gilchrist the forwards. Green and Svoboda. The defense, 5.50 to go first period. Gilchrist up the ice. Dumps it in for Carbono. Over to Gilchrist. Slap a right side. That misses everything. That's off the glass. Over to Zettler. To center ice. Carbono has it. Minnesota not pressing very much. 9-6 the shots in favor of Montreal. Home opener for the Habs. Two on two over the line. Walter winds and fires. And I believe Frazier got a piece of that. Minnesota will change. So will Montreal. Corson Ganey. Oh, no. Corson Ganey and Claude Lemieux. Forwards change. Minnesota from behind their net. McRae. Fires it around. Dump and chase. Shriver will pick it up to Posick. 
in traffic. Wah! Saves it. And, oh, goodness gracious. Stu Gavin just got a piece of Patrick Wah, and the form is absolutely incensed. TV timeout, 447, first period, 1 nothing, Montreal. So that's not what Montreal wanted to see, and so now you can see where we could get a fight. Smith and Brook on the faceoff, in the Hab zone. Won by Bobby Smith, over to Naslin. Back to Smith, Keen scoring chance. He shoots Casey with a good save, and we got a faceoff. 427 in the Minnesota zone. 10 7 in favor of Montreal are the shots. Rukowski and Smith on the faceoff. Won by Rukowski. Marut hit hard by Chelios. Montreal at center. Bobby Smith tries to get it through. Naslin does. The Chelios to Smith. Tic tac toe. He shoots. Keen tips it in. Scores. Montreal goal scored by Mike Keane, his first of the season, assisted by number 15, Bobby Smith, and by number 24, Chris Shelios. Time of the goal, 16 minutes, 14 seconds. Well, that goal was all Bobby Smith's doing. He just fired it at the net, and he just put it in a place where Keane could deflect it past. Casey went one way, Keane tipped it the other, and it's 2-0 Montreal. So a good start for the Habs. Smith and Posick on the faceoff. At center, and it's won by Minnesota. Musley to McClellan. Dump and chase. Posick to McClellan. Minnesota tries to set up the shot. They can't do it. Posick has it bounce out. Chelios will take it. 3.23 to go. Second line in. Montreal changes up. McPhee to Scrudlin. They set it up. McPhee. Has Lemieux open on the outside right. Lemieux. Slap shot. Casey with a save. Got a paddle on it. Loose puck. They battle along the boards. Posick over to Hardy. Minnesota trying to set something up. Posick dumps it in from McClellan. Schreiber. One-timer right wing. Wah makes the stop. Rebound loose in the corner. Schreiber and Svoboda fights. Svoboda has it over to Lemieux. 237 opening period. 2 0 Montreal. McPhee behind the net. Doesn't like what he sees. They send it back up again. Posick with a check. North Stars have it. Everybody's going to change now. McCray to Marouk. Stolen by Richet. Montreal. Richet, they can set up the rush if they can do it. But Carbono can't get it. Minnesota takes it back. They have it at center. Dumped in by Giles. Over to Chambers. Chambers loses the puck. Not good stick handling for either team at the moment. Ludwig, 111 to go in the first. To Walter. Ice is the puck. And with 52 seconds, it'll be in the Montreal zone. Fourth line offense, Ganey with Corson and Gilchrist, Chilios and Robinson, the defenders. Hope you're enjoying this one. 2 nothing Montreal. Ganey and Brook on the faceoff. One by Brook. Hit hard is Gavin Robinson, Montreal. They're going to get aggressive. 33 seconds, Gilchrist across the line to Chilios. Rister, no, save by Casey, rebound by Getz. This should be the end of the period. It is, but a good period for the home team. If you're watching on CBC, which you're not, Coach's Corner with Don Cherry is next. For those of you watching elsewhere, we'll be right back after this message.
right, let's take a look at the first period stats from digitaladvice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Shots 13-8 in favor of Montreal. Scoring chances 8-3 in favor of Montreal. Minnesota blocked three shots to two. And the Habs went one for three on the power play. Two goals in the first period and a whole slew of penalties. So 16 penalty minutes. The goals, Carbono on the power play from Corson and Green and Mike Keane. Tipped in that beautiful shot from Bobby Smith to make it 2 nothing Montreal. So if you're in the chat, say hi. 13-8 the shots. Face-offs, by the way, won by minutes 12-5 in favor of the North Stars. Hits 6-3, so the North Stars are a more physical team. And Montreal hits six shots, miss the net. How you doing, Rusty? You from Canada? So Smith and Brooke on the face-off, and I promise we'll have the ticker right for the next game next Sunday. Habs and Quebec from the Forum in Montreal, a midweek special right here on Retro Sports Network. So Smith and Brooke for the face-off, won by Minnesota. Gavin moves it out, but only to center. Kitchener, oh, that's right, we talked about this. Rangers, Kitchener Rangers country. Naslin over to Smith to Keen. Brooke with a big check. Minnesota steals it. Gills to Brooke. Charles to Brooke in the zone, but he's offside and we'll have a face off. A minute gone off the clock. Montreal will change up. Scrudlin, Lemieux, and McPhee. Ruskowski, Marouk, and McRae for the North Stars. Face off is won by Scrudlin. Up to Lemieux. Dumps it around. McPhee's got it. He's going to take a shot. He shoots. That misses wide. Off the glass. Marouk has it. Over to Musial. Marouk to Hardy. They try to find Marouk. He does. They play tic-tac-toe. Ruskowski and Marouk. McPhee knocks him down, but no rush from Montreal. Rick Green does the job. Scrudland. They dump it in. and It'll be cleared out. Ruskowski will dump it in. Musial. Can he get a shot? He's going to try a shot. Left slot. Wah wow, saw that one all the way. Glove it. And oh. Here's the call. Minnesota penalty to Basil McRae. Two minutes for roughing Montreal penalty to Claude Lemieux. Two minutes for roughing. Well, neither McRae or Lemieux are going to win sportsmanship awards. And so they will cool their jets for the next two minutes. Something about Lemieux singing the Yellow Rose of Texas in front of the North Stars bench. I don't understand what that's about. Carboneau, deep in his own zone, will take this face off against Posick. And the face off is won by Minnesota. Schreiber, one timer. All the way on the net, and wow, we'll catch it, and we'll do this again. No changes. Pasek with McClellan and Schreiber on the wings. Getz and Zettler, the defenders. Carbono with Gilchrist and Walter with Ludwig and Desjardins. Rusty says, watching this while I'm doing my prep work for my May 79 Cubs replay. Using replay baseball cards and dice. Love the PC version of replay. Or my, okay. That's a fun year. K um, Kingman's back for that, right? Carboneau and Pasek on the faceoff. Tied up. One by Minnesota. Can they get a shot? McClellan. One timer blocked by Desjardins. Carboneau to Desjardins behind the net. 120 in the minors. Carboneau into the zone. Gilchrist. Cookie behind his own net. Doesn't like what he sees. They'll set it back up again. 103 in the matching minors. Walter from behind the net again. Montreal doesn't like what their chances are. They set it back up. Ludwig over to Gilchrist. Gilchrist, well, he's just going to fling it at somebody. Going to try for Desjardins for a Kmart special. One-timer blocked by McClellan. 
Gats has it. Minnesota to center. Desjardins, and they'll skate it behind the net, and everyone will change up. First line will come out from Montreal. 28 seconds in the matching minor. Smith in the zone. Over to Robinson. Larry. Fires on Casey, and Casey got a pad on that. Rebound is controlled by Barber. Over to Muesli. Puck is at center, and they'll dump and chase, and Robinson will have it. The minors are over. 15-13 to go, second period. Robinson to Smith. Brooke takes it away. Minnesota has it at center. Ruskowski for Minnesota. No changes for Montreal. Minnesota will. Smith hits Chambers. Bobby Smith has it at center. Now they'll change up. McPhee, Scrudlin, and Richet on the ice. McPhee poked away by Giles. Chamber and Richet battle along the boards. Minnesota has it. Giles over to Chambers in the zone. Penalty coming up. Minnesota penalty to Sean Chambers. Two minutes for holding. Time of the penalty, six minutes, four seconds. And that's one of those penalties where Minnesota would like that back. They're in the offensive zone, and Chambers gets called for the hold. It's not what you want. Second power lot play pairings are out there. Corson, Carboneau, and Lemieux, along with Larry Robinson and Dejardin. Barber and Gavin to kill it with Musel and Getz. And Rusty tells me that Kingman hit 48 homers that year. They are interesting. To, good bullpen. I believe they still have Donnie Moore and Bruce Suter. Lee Smith, I think, is on that team, too. They have no starters, but their bullpen is pretty gosh darn good. Carboneau with a faceoff in the Minnesota zone. Barber wins it, and Minnesota will have it stolen by Desjardins. Corson behind the net. Wants Robinson at the blue line. Hit by Gavin. Oh, Gavin has it two on one the other way. Robinson's back alone. Muesli to Gavin. And Gavin lost control. So the crowd ooing and awing here. Chelios and Svoboda come on to change Robinson and Desjardins. Robinson, I think, got a crown knocked out. Oh, no Lee Smith yet. Good bullpen once Tidrow came over from the Yankees. Okay. So Svoboda, 131 left in the penalty. Lemieux over the blue line to Chelios. Gavin with a hit. Minnesota, will they clear or skate? Gavin is offside. So 54 seconds left in the penalty to Chambers. Ludwig and Green, the fresh defensive line, are pairing. Smith out there with Riche and Naslin. Montreal does not have a shot in this power play. 14-10 Habs in the hockey game. Schreiber wins the faceoff. Minnesota, McCray in the zone. Short-handed bid. Riche with a hit. Here come the Habs. 43 seconds to go. Riche to Naslin. To center. Smith skates it in the zone. Naslin slapper. Right side, Casey saw that all the way. We'll hold on. Chelios and Svoboda come out with Rishi Smith and Naslin. Schreiber and McRae doing a good job for the North Stars. Just one shot from Montreal on this power play. Smith and Schreiber are tied up. One by Minnesota. Giles clears it all the way down. Time for one more rush. Naslin to Smith in the zone. They got to be quick. Riche, power plays over. Riche has it. Looks for Chelios on the outside. Chris, one timer off the pad of Casey. Rebound over to Naslin. Naslin will pass it back around again over to Riche. Doesn't like that. They'll try this again. Everybody's even strength. Chelios. He's just going to put this on the net. Slapper, and Casey will give the face off. TV timeout, 11.05 to go in the second period. No scoring here in the second. 2 nothing Montreal. So Ganey out there with Corson and Gilchrist. Posick with McClellan and Schreiber. Hardy and Musel. Ludwig and Desjardins. The defenseman for Montreal. Ice quality here at the form is an eight. A little warm tonight in Montreal, this eighth day of October. 
Ganey and Pasek on the faceoff. Ganey wins it. Back to Gilchrist. Has Corson open. Mid-slot. Corson from the boards. Shoots. Casey saw that. Got a glove on it. We'll do it again. 10.35 to go. Ruskowski will take the face off against Ganey, and it's tied up. One by Minnesota. Giles. Ruskowski through center. Three on two for the North Stars. Maroop. Rister. Wow. With a stop. Behind the net for Ludwig in Montreal. Will resettle. 10.11 to go in the second. Ludwig starts the dump. Corson behind the net. Over to Gilchrist. Brent blocked by Giles. Ruskowski has it to Maroop, to Giles in the zone. Lines and fires. Wah, saw that all the way. Kick, save, rebound, controlled by Montreal Gilchrist. And first line coming out. 9.31 second period. Naslin to Robinson. Smith, Frazier in front with the slapper. He shoots. Casey with a save. Got the pad on it. Musley and Smith battling for it. Frazier now has it. Archibald. They try to set up Naslin, however, makes the hit at center over to Chelios. Chelios in the zone. No one open. He's going to try to fire this out there. Musley probably will block this. He shoots. It is blocked by the Frazier this time. Over to Hardy. 837 second period. Musley off the glass to Frazier. Dumps and chase to Babe. Minnesota looking for the shot. Archibald. Can he find anybody? Babe right in front of the net. Smith scores. Babe 2-1. to one. Minnesota goal scored by Warren Babe. His first of the season. Assisted by Dave Archibald. And by Frantisek Musel. Time of the goal, 11 minutes, 52 seconds. Well, they worked it around and worked it around and worked it around. How you doing, DJ John? And Babe did a Babe-type thing. He was right open in front of the net, and he just put it past Patrick Watt. There wasn't much Patrick can do. And Archibald Musel get the assist. So 8.08 to go in the second period. Shots 19-13 for Montreal, and the score is 2-1. So the screwed little line is out there with Green and Svoboda. Zettler and Getz, who, as I said, looks like a cross between Rambo and Link Getz. I mean, could you be more 80s than that? You got the mullet and the Bosworth thing going at the same time. Ruskowski and Scrudland at center ice. Won by Scrudland. He advances the puck into the zone. Lemieux has it. Over to Scrudland. They play tic-tac-toe. Lemieux behind the net. Nobody open. They're not very happy with that. Pat Burns is screaming on the, on the bench. Minnesota has it. Ruskowski hit by McPhee at center ice. Foboda. They try to skate it in. Scrubin over the line. Lemieux winds and fires. And that's a save and a hold. Seven minutes to go. Third line's in. So Ludwig and Desjardins from Montreal. Carbonell, Walter, and Richet. Warren Babe. And oh, isn't that an appropriate name for him? Oh. That's what he would say anyway. So the faceoff in front of Casey in the Minnesota zone. Won by the North Stars. Fraser dumps it out. Archibald has it. They play a successful dump and chase. Hardy to Babe. Can Babe find anybody? He does. He's going to shoot it himself. Walter tries to get a stick in there. Desjardins blocked a shot over to Richet. And at, over to Desjardins. And they skate it out. Desjardins to Richet. Stefan winds and fires in case he got a pad on it. Steer down the zone only to center. Richet. Starts the next rush for Montreal. Over the line to Desjardins. Walter behind the net. Doesn't like what he sees. 
They'll try to set it back up again. 5.50 to go in the second. Dejar Dan. Walter's open if he can get him the puck. Walter by the dots. He's going to shoot. Ryan Walter. Oh, Casey saw that one. Loose in front. Hardy has it. Minnesota will change. So will Montreal when they get the chance. Barber speeds up the wing. Wow, will skate it back to play it. Gives it up to Ludwig, and everybody's tired. So fourth line forward, starting defenders. Corson's hit by Gavin. Minnesota has it at center. Gavin fires it around the boards. Dump and chase for Barber to Gavin. He shoots, and Wow will make the stop. Timeout on the ice, 421 to go in the second period. A good one here at the forum on opening night, 2-1 Montreal. And happy that you've taken some of your Sunday to watch. Tuesday at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. Don't know if John's still here or not. The debut of soccer on the channel. Retro Sports Network will be replaying the 2010 World Cup. Using classic soccer from South Africa. So put away your Vuzavellas. I don't want to hear them. So soccer, I believe it's going to be opening week games will be U.S. England. And I think the other one is Spain, South Africa. So that's coming up. So two soccer games for you this week, Tuesday and Thursday. And we'll be back with hockey next Sunday afternoon at noon Eastern. It'll be the Habs and the Nordiques from the form in Montreal. Plus, don't forget, week two of This Week in Sim Football, which so many of you watched. I'm so impressed. Ganey on the face-off with Frazier in the Montreal zone. Ganey wins it. Corson loses it. Minnesota has it in the zone. They couldn't get it out. Can Hardy find anybody? Hardy's just going to shoot it himself. He fires. Wah makes the save. He knocked it down. The puck is loose. Frazier and Chelios along the boards. Chelios kicks it up to Gilchrist. Back to Chelios. And Montreal will start the rush. Gilchrist to Robinson. Behind the net. Now they start it. Gilchrist in the zone. To Ganey. To Chelios. One timer. Casey with the stop. Got a glove on it. Over to Babe. To Hardy. Archibald to Hardy. Babe shoots. Frazier tips. Wide left. Nothing doing. Robinson. Change is coming. First line on for Montreal. Corson. Now Naslin across the line. Achelius at the point. Smith with a slapper. Bobby Smith. And Casey got a piece of it. Covers up. 2.44 to go. 2-1 Montreal. I thought I changed the defensive pairing. Apparently, I did not. So, Green and Svoboda are on the ice with Smith, Naslin, and Keane. Ruskowski, McRae, and Marouk for Minnesota. Hope you're enjoying this one. Smith and Ruskowski won by Smith over to Svoboda. Svoboda looking for Keane on the right. Hit by Marouk, and McRae will start it off. Smith with a hit at center on Ruskowski. Svoboda. Keen at center. On the zone. Svoboda. They pat playing tic tac toe. Smith and Naslin. Naslin will penetrate on Zettler. Naslin, an 84 point year in real life. Looking for his first of the year. He deeks past Zettler. Now on Casey. And John stood tall. 143 to go. So Scrudlin out there with McPhee and Lemieux. Brooke out there with Gavin and Barber. Ludwig and Desjardins out on the defense. Scrudlin and Brooke in front of Casey. One by Scrudlin. Lemieux over to Scrudlin. Doesn't like what he sees. He'll set it back up again. Scrudlin. He's got Lemieux open in the slot. Lemieux's going to try and find... Oh, but Giles with a big hit. Minnesota to Chambers. They clear it. They chip it along for Brooke. He'll dump it in for Barber. Minnesota trying to work the shot. Chambers. He'll slap it. He shoots. Brooke will tip it wide. 
Good tip by Brooke, controlled by McPhee. Montreal will change. Both teams are changing up green all the way down behind the net. Now here's Hardy for the Norris Stars. Musil at center. And that will be the end of the period. So, shots 12-7 in favor of Montreal. Scoring chances 4-1 to one in favor of Montreal. Peter Puck will explain what a two-line pass is. Block shots 3-2 in favor of Minnesota, and Montreal went 0-1 for 1 on the power play, a relatively clean period. Tonight on the satellite hot stove, Red Fisher. We'll just tell stories for 10 minutes. I wish I could show you, but I can't. We'll be back in a moment. Montreal Canadiens Hockey, presented by Digital Dice on Retro Sports Network. So just one goal in the second period. Winston Bain from Archibald and Musil at 11-52 makes it 2-1. And outside of Lemieux, who now has 11 penalty minutes in two games. And McRae pretty much was a quiet period. Shots on goal, 12-7 in the period, 25-15 in favor of Montreal. Minnesota 20-11 on the faceoffs. Hits 13-9 in favor of the North Stars. They block 6 to Montreal's 4. Shot attempts 38-22 for Montreal. And time of attack 6-0-1 in favor of the Habs. They've been the much more aggressive team, but it's only a one-goal game. So Smith and Brook out for the faceoff. Mike Keane and Naslin to forwards. Chelios and Robinson for the Habs. Giles and Chambers or Gills. Montreal wins it. Smith clears his own. Only to center, Barber will shovel it in. Wah will play it. And so, nothing doing the first 40 seconds of the third period. Naslin, nowhere to go. Dumps it in. Smith has it. Robinson to Chelios. They try to play tic-tac-toe. Smith behind the net. Goes and tries for Chelios for a long shot. He will. Rister from Chelios is blocked by Gavin. And out of play. So a face-off coming in the Minnesota zone. Scrudlin and Ruskowski out for the face-off. Second line's in for everybody. Scrudlin tries to draw it back, but Ruskowski wins it for Minnesota. McRae and McPhee. Oh, dear. McPhee. Montreal penalty to Mike McPhee. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 1 minute 29 seconds. Well, McPhee just got a little too happy there with that check. It wasn't a high stick, but he did stick him just below the shoulder, so he got called for boarding, essentially. Pat Burns not real thrilled with that, and Minnesota has a chance to tie it. 18.31 to go. Face off coming in the Montreal zone. Carboneau and Pasek. Corson, Green, and Ludwig will also try to kill this. Archibald has it. It was won by Minnesota. Archibald has it over to Posick. Shoots from the right. Wah gives up the state. stick rebound. Archibald behind the net. He's going to skate it out. Going to try to hit a knuckler. His shot. Wah made a good stop. He can't control it. Ludwig will. Over to Carboneau and Montreal will clear. So Pasek, 1.23 to go in the power play. Two shots for Minnesota. No changes for Montreal. Archibald in the zone. McRae. Basil, right on the wah. Got a glove on it. Gives it to Ludwig. And let's see if Montreal will clear this one. Corson will dump and chase all the way down. 52 seconds to go. 
They will change penalty killers. Walter and Ganey for Montreal with Chelios and Robinson. See if Minnesota will change their forwards. McCray, Deposic, he'll dump it in. Wow, plays it off to Chelios, and that was not a good effort. But they do have three shots. 34 seconds on the power play. Ganey clears it all the way down to Chambers. 23 seconds to go. Time for one last rush for the North Stars. Posick chips it into McRae. Archibald. Ganey steals it, and that's it. So Montreal with a good penalty kill. First line in. Smith, Naslin, and Keane. Chelios and Robinson remain on defense. North Stars change. Smith in the zone to Chelios. Chelios is going to look. He's going to wind and fire himself. He puts it on the... No, he doesn't. That misses wide right. Gats has it to Barber. Four minutes gone here in the third period. Gats to Brook. And Gavin and Keene get called for roughing. So that's not what you want. Minnesota penalty to Stu Gavin. Two minutes for roughing Montreal penalty to Mike Keene. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalties. Four minutes, 16 seconds. Well, the face-off will come in the Montreal zone. Gavin taking advantage of the youngster Keen there. And just kind of giving a little push and shove and pinch and snipe hunts and all that. So Brook and Strudlin on the face-off. 2-1 Montreal. Shots 25-18 in favor of the Habs. 15-44 to go in regulation time. Strudlin wins the face-off. Svoboda slips it down. Taken by Minnesota. And Barber is off. Side. So five minutes gone here in the third and a minute 16 left in the matching roughing penalties. Not Stu Gavin's first rodeo when it comes to that. Neither is it Keene's. No changes. Scrindlin will take it just outside his zone against Ruskowski. Minnesota wins it. Babe dumps it in the corner for Ruskowski. To Babe. He shoots and Wah makes the stop. Wah to Riche. Over to McPhee. Montreal will start it out. 14.38 to go, third period. Green dumps it into center. At least McClellan will take over. Third line coming in. Montreal will change. McClellan to Marouk. Both teams change up. Montreal has it at center. Carbono trying to get something going. Gilchrist in the zone to Walter. Ryan with the slapper. That misses high and right. Posick. Back on the ice. Minnesota will change again in a moment. 13.35 to go in the game. Schreiber dumps it in the corner to Barber, to Brook. Minnesota passing it around. Gats couldn't get the pass, however. And Montreal will start the rush the other way. Montreal will bring the first line in when they get the chance. Naslin over the line to Lemieux. Lemieux to Robinson, if he can get there. Robinson guarded close, but he'll take a swing. He shoots. Casey with a stop. So timeout on the ice. 12.37 to go. It's 2-1 Montreal. So Smith with Ruskowski for the faceoff. Penalty to Keene and Gavin are over, so Keene is back on the ice. Keene has had four penalty minutes. Only been on the ice ten minutes. Face-off is won by Montreal. Nasland, they'd like an insurance goal. Nasland doesn't like what he sees. Keene behind the net, they'll send it back up again. Nasland this time, he's going to shoot the long shot. Not going to penetrate on G G Giles, who's a good defender. In fact, this is probably going to block it. He shoots. Scores! Matt Naslund! Montreal goal scored by number 26, Matt Naslund. His first of the season. Assisted by number 15, Bobby Smith. Time of the goal, 8 minutes, 6 seconds. Well, that was an inadvertent goal. I think he was just trying to get a rebound in there. I'm not sure if Casey ever saw the shot. Smith had it. Naslin was being guarded closely. And I, I thought that was going to get blocked or taken away. So Naslin just threw it on the net. And, and I don't think Casey ever saw it. 
So Smith will get credit for a second assist, and now Naslin with his first goal. So 11.54 to go, and it's a two-goal game, 3-1. to one. So Posick out there was Scrudlin for the face-off. Second line defenders from Montreal, Musley and Hardy out there to defend for Minnesota. That was of the cheap and cheesy variety allowed by Casey. Puck is dropped. Posick will kick it out, but Montreal will take it. Lemieux up the ice. Dumps it in. McPhee will chase it down. Over to Lemieux. Lemieux trying to get another good one here. He fires. Casey did get a piece of that with the blocker, and Minnesota starts it up. McClellan loses an edge. Montreal has it at center. Lemieux. Svoboda to McPhee. McPhee to Lemieux. Lemieux behind the net. He's got Scrudlin open in the slot if he can find him. Pass to Scrudlin is there. Scrudlin's got two North Stars in front of him, but are they screening Casey? He shoots. Casey got a glove on it. And the faceoff will come in the zone. Carboneau with Walter and Riche against Brooke, Gavin, and Barber. Ludwig and Desjardins on defense. So Brooke and Carboneau. Won by Gee over to Riche. Ludwig. Ludwig is going to try for Walter, who's in behind Chambers. Can he find him? Nope. Barber with a check. Here come the North Stars. Chambers to Barber in the zone. Barber. And he got in before the puck. And so that is offside. 9.39 to go. And it's 3-1 to one Montreal. Yep. John Casey is not beloved by Bruins fans. That was just a bad goal. He played well before then. 29 shots for Montreal. 19 for Minnesota. Frazier and Carboneau on his faceoff. As we pass the 1 o'clock hour here on a Sunday afternoon. Won by Frazier, but he loses it. Montreal in their own zone. Riche, he's going to find Walter open on the outside. Who's open to? Walter. One-timer. Carboneau deflects it wide. Usually for the North Stars. Frazier. Shoots it behind the net. Archibald dump and chase over to Musley. One timer and Carboneau got a piece of that. Ludwig has possession. And they'll change. Fourth line coming out. Corson to Gilchrist. Now Corson hit by Zettler. Minnesota has the puck. McRae hit by Chelios. Montreal has it. Robinson. Blue line special, Robinson. Going to find Corson on the outside. Shane shoots, blocked by Getz. Eight minutes to go in the hockey game. McRae has it. Over to Denny Marouk. In the zone, Marouk to Ruskowski. Back to Marouk, give and go. Marouk, his shot, saved by Wah. Chelios. First line on for Montreal. Green and Svoboda will be the defenders. 3-1 Ham, 726 to go in the game. Bobby Smith will ice it, and that's not what you want. So the North Stars get the face off in the Montreal zone. Posick, McClellan, and Schreiber against Smith, Naslin, and Keane. So 29-20 the shots. Wow, watching this one. Smith and Posick. Face off was won by Smith. That's a big one. Naslin to center. Minnesota takes it over. Schreiber in the zone. McClellan. And can they get a shot to Posick? Yeah, Posick. Oh, point blank range on War. He shoots and War with a save and a hold. He just kind of wings his Posick skates off the ice. McPhee, Scrutlin, and Claude Lemieux. Ludwig and Desjardins, the defenders. Brooke, Barber, and Gavin. The forwards from Minnesota. Brooke and Scrudlin. By Wah. One by Scrudlin. Lemieux. Hit by Brooke. Minnesota at center. Barber to Gavin. In the zone. To Chambers. Scrudlin with a hit. Montreal will bring it back up. 
Scrudland behind the net to McPhee. Hit hard by Chambers. Chambers at center for Minnesota. There's Pasek has it. Montreal will change defenders. By the bench, Pasek skates it in. Both teams change up. Schreiber to McClellan. He can't hang on to it. And Chelios will skate it. Third line in, Walter Carboneau and Riche. 4.55, 3-1 Montreal, third period. Getz has it for Minnesota at center. Schreiber, they played dump and chase, and they just dumped. Chelios, 4.14 to go to Walter, off the glass and only to center. Barber goes back the other way. 4th line coming in for Montreal. Barber off the glass and out. Svoboda with a big open ice hit for Gavin. Controlled by Green. 3.34 to play. Gilchrist hit by Getz. Minnesota at center. It'll be Barber. They need to put some pressure on Montreal right now. They dump in on a line change off the glass. Wah makes, actually has forced to make the save. He gives it to Green, but only to Brooke. Dumps it around for Gavin. Gavin with a shot. Gavin shoots. Blocked by Green. And out of play. Last TV timeout, 234. And I got the ticker wrong again. But we'll have the postgame show in the entire night in the NHL as soon as we're done with this. So they want Carboneau to win this faceoff. Ludwig and Desjardins are the defensive pairings, and they'll hold on to Naslin, Smith, and Keane for the very end. 3-1 Montreal, 29-22. Shots in favor of the Habs and their home opener. Faceoff is won by Posick in the zone. Chambers, you don't want him taking the shot. Carboneau with a good check, 2-12 to go. Walter starts the rush up the other way. Carboneau can't maintain control. Minnesota has it. Giles, can he get a shot? He will get a shot. He fires. McClellan tips it in and scores. Minnesota goal scored by Brian McClellan. His first of the season. Assisted by Kurt Giles. Time of the goal, 18 minutes, 20 seconds. Well, Giles just had a good shot from the blue line there, and that was deflected by McClellan. And right past Wah, Wah was looking left, and the puck went right. So Chelios and Robinson will come in. McPhee, Scrooge, and Lemieux will come in. Minnesota, by the way, called timeout. 140 to go. Brooke and Scridland, and you know that Casey's coming out as soon as they can. Chambers has it to McClellan. 90 seconds to go. 3-2 Montreal. Pasek in the zone to Giles. McClellan. All sorts of traffic in front of Wah. 1-12 to go. McPhee with a big block. Chelios has it. 1-10 to go. Montreal will put their first line in. Naslin breaks it out to Smith at center. Naslin, 103 to go. In the zone. They can't pull the goalie yet. Keane. Keane's going to try a wraparound on Casey Keane. He shoots. Casey with a save. And now the faceoff will come in front of Casey with 48 seconds to go. In a one-goal game, 30-23, to 23, the shot's in favor of Montreal. Smith will try to draw this back against Posick. Tied up, Minnesota wins it. They'll pull the goalie now. Barber, the extra skater, 44 seconds to go. Brooke. Brooke in the zone for Minnesota. McClellan to Barber. They play tic-tac-toe. Brooke with the shot. Brooke, blocked by Robinson, 30 seconds to go. Chelios dumps it down. Brooke at center to McClellan. Minnesota really putting the pressure on now. Barber, the extra man, to McClellan, 18 seconds to go. Minnesota can't get a shot now. McClellan does, 12 to go. Wah with a save. He caught it in the pad and will have a faceoff. So 30 to 24. 
Montreal will take change up Scrudlin McPhee and Lemieux with Green and Svoboda on defense. 3-2 Habs. 12 seconds left. Scrudlin wins the faceoff, and that's the ball game. So a defensive period for Montreal. Minnesota got one goal, and so did the Habs. 9-5 the shots in favor of Minnesota. Scoring chances 4-3 in favor of Minnesota. Montreal blocked four shots to two, and the final will be three to two. And as soon as the screen draws itself, I'll tell you tonight's three stars. And the third star tonight is Mike Keane. He had a goal. Guy Carboneau is your second star tonight from Montreal. He had a goal. And Matt Naslin ended up with a game winner. He is your number one star. So scoring in the third period, Nasland from Smith, and then McClellan made it interesting with a minute 20 to go. The goalies, Wah, 22 saves. Casey, 27. Casey falls to 0-2, and, and Wah is 1-1. One and, one. and so... That's the ball game. All right, let's go with the rest of the night in the National Hockey League. It was a busy, busy night. As you'll see, Hartford beat Boston 7-3. to Kevin Nanine, a goal and two assists. Cam Neely had two goals. And Ronnie Francis had a goal and assist. The Bruins had 43 shots, but 0-4 for 4 in the power play. And Derek Sanderson, not a happy camper. You like offense? What about Los Angeles and Calgary? 8-7. Hakan Lube, a hat trick and an assist. Gretzky with a goal and three assists. And Robitaille, two goals and three points. The Kings, three for five on the power play in a game that saw nearly 85 penalty minutes. The game you just watched, Montreal 3, Minnesota 2. Montreal gets their first two points of the season. Quebec, who you'll see on his channel next Sunday at noon, Eastern beats New Jersey 6-4. Michelle Goulet, a hat-trick and an assist. Jarvie, two goals and an assist. And Kirk Muller, future Montreal Canadian superstar, a goal and an assist for the Devils. Devils hit 43 shots. Quebec scored 6 on 30. That's pretty good. Rangers beat the North or the Blues six to five. Kelly Kissio, two goals and an assist. Turcott, two goals for the Rangers. Look at that. The Rangers had fifty-five shots. Chicago beats Toronto four to two. Denny Savar, two goals and an assist. The Graham Cracker with a goal and Presley. Not a very impressive performance for the loops who open up 0-2. The Red Wings open up 2-0. They beat Vancouver 7-5. Steve Iserman, two goals and four assists. Barr, 2-2. Two and, two, and Huda with that. A good effort for the Red Wings. And last but not least, the Caps beat the Sabres 6-3. Ridley, two goals. Millar, two goals. And Scott Stevens had four assists. So, early standings and leaders, just in case you care. As we leave you, Hartford in first place in the Adams division. 13 goals in two games already. Quebec, Montreal, Buffalo, and Boston with two points. Washington and the Rangers have four points. Detroit undefeated with four points. And the Smythe is the Smythe. All right, soccer for you on Tuesday and Thursday. Our next scheduled hockey game will be Sunday afternoon at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific, 4 the Nordiques and the Habs. Until then, I'm Ron Chuckett. Have yourself a great day. We'll talk to you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.